my winter project to recreate a coral longhorn six-string guitar is finally complete. Unlike other Dano guitars, however, these aren't made from plywood and masonite. It's a real archtop guitar and designed by Vinnie Bell, one of the best jazz guitarists of his day. These guitars and basses were marketed from 1967 to 1969, and the bodies were produced in Japan by the Kawai Company, one of the world's finest piano manufacturers. Then the bodies were shipped to Neptune, New Jersey, where Dan Electro had a plant, and they were assembled in New Jersey for sale and distribution in America. Well, it didn't work out. The, bank, the company went bankrupt, in 1969 and all these bodies that never made it into production they were sitting around in a warehouse for the longest kind of time gradually found their way into ebay a couple of years ago i bought this particular body online as is it was routed and drilled and that's as far as the production ever got in new jersey it was put back in a case and there it sat until 2008 but if i was going to do anything with this I had to find a real live coral longhorn six string so I could make some measurements, take some pictures, and recreate what they would have done faithfully. And to do that, I had to find somebody who actually owned one. I found one, a gentleman by the name of Dave, who, as it turns out, lived only about 20 minutes away from me, and he was very generous with his time, and he let me come by with my camera, and he loaned me his measuring tape. And I sat around for a couple of hours taking lots of pictures and making lots of measurements of all the different angles of the guitar, taking care to note that the bridge actually sat on the pickup ring at the back and that the coral headstock was just a little different than the Fender and Gibson headstock and that the jack plate at the bottom was much bigger than usual and also the neck plate at the back was unique to coral, very special shape there, and the way the neck was set into the body, special routing was required, and also the pick guard overlaps the pickup ring, very strange, and of course the pick guard was a very odd shape, you couldn't just buy one. The plaque on the bottom, again, very specific to coral, and the frame had to be custom made as well, so I had my work cut out for me. Having seen a genuine 1968 coral six-string close-up and personal now, and having had a chance to actually play it, now is the time to take all the measurements and go back to the drawing board. Many of the guitar parts were not available anywhere and would have to be recreated from scratch. Good luck on that one. The whole project took about a year to complete, and finding the right people to take time out of a busy production run to fabricate one single custom-made piece wasn't always easy. But there were those who were intrigued by the idea of recreating this iconic 1960s guitar. With parts now in hand, I went to master luthier Jim Moradian in Winchester, Massachusetts for the final piece of the puzzle. Jim put it all together, and what a masterful job Jim did. 